Okay. Green lines, green lines. Yes. <laughs> and it actually says we're streaming. That's good. I just hit the button about two minutes ago and talking to myself because the stream didn't start. I hit the wrong one. Uh. <laughs> oh boy. Back to Atlas. Who's ready for some fun and adventure? And doom. <laughs> <You're a dementia. laughs> that's probably about accurate tonight it feels good I'm back at the computer I actually have things working and I can do more than one thing at a time the laptop the laptop's been good the laptop has lasted me a long time <laughs> But it's it's struggling, man. And the, I was I'm playing Atlas while I'm <laughs> on the road, and that's about all it'll do. I have to use my phone to even talk to people on Discord. Hey, Meryl. So we got Nope. We got Meryl. We got Penny. Tim, maybe. I don't know. We got a bunch of people on already. It's exciting. Nine people already. Holy smokes. <laughs> hey, Gail. Hello, Firefox. Great to see you. And Dan... Daniel? <laughs> I'm bad with pronunciation, so if I screw your name up... I got Gail figured out. And Meryl. I can... <laughs> Oh, wow. It's almost time. It's been a, it's been a crazy last few weeks because we're back and forth from here down in the wonderful state of North Carolina up to our house that we're getting ready to sell in Virginia and back and forth and trying to move things and do things. And oh, wow, there's just a lot of stuff to do. So I appreciate everybody being out here tonight. I, 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 I would love to have more content out until we get this all settled out. It's probably going to be once a week. If, if maybe, maybe I want to, I'm going to try. I told not May today. I said, I'm going to try to uh, stream again before we go back up to Virginia. So, so I'll at least get one more stream in over the next couple of days or, you know, some recorded content. I say that I said that last time and, and I didn't do it because stuff came up, but yeah, that's life. I thought I was going to, you know, be retired. I could, like, relax, but, nah. <laughs> Wouldn't want to get bored, right? Stream Elements Bot finally got on. Awesome. <laughs> uh, short for overwork. Uh, pretty much right, Meryl, right? Don't tell, I, don't tell none of me I said so. It's, you know, it's a kick my butt. But I, I'm upstairs at this house, so I hear her coming if she comes after me. I can hear her hit every step on the way up, ready to kill me. Like, you know, one of those horror shows. <laughs> oh. It's cool because I'm plugged into the internet, so it's like data is just flying across the screen and I don't have any red bars or nothing. It's all green. It's great. <laughs> yeah well that's pretty much the way it works I had a friend when I was growing up and, and you know back then back in the day you know in the 60s when uh, when you screwed up you got a spanking and so every day and I guess they call it abuse now but uh, <laughs> but every day he'd come home and his dad would give him a, a whooping because <laughs> he said I knew you did something wrong while I've been gone <laughs> Uh, he was the fastest kid in town, too. I mean, that guy could fly. Probably because, you know, he ran from his dad with the belt. I don't know. It's, it's not, it's not, yeah, it's not funny to abuse kids. It's really not. It really isn't. There's some, there's some crazy messed up stuff going on these days. I swear, I can't even, I can't even hardly watch the news anymore because it's just, it's just disgusting. But, uh, yeah, back in the day, you know, when I grew up, if you have, if you misbehaved in the store, a stranger could spank you and your parents would go, yeah, see, you deserve that. 
Um, but that was that was a different time. Because <laughs> they're failing when it's needed. Neglect. Uh, okay, so it's 931. Welcome all you OGs out there. Whether you're an online gamer, an original gangster, or just an old geezer like me, this is Yuli 1961 for Old Gamers Never Die. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you coming out watching the stream, or if you watch it on the uh, replay, that's also wonderful. Hey, you know, if it's fun to watch, then now I'm doing my my uh, my dream come true. <laughs> Entertaining people and showing them how to play games. That's the fun thing. Uh, but thank you so much for coming. Ah, wow, fifteen people already in here. Wow, y'all, y'all just you, you, you really do make me crazily happy every time I get on here. I look at the, you know, when I look at the statistics and, and the the analytics. Yeah, that's what it's called, analytics, and see how many great comments and and I try to respond to every comment as fast as I see them. Sometimes it takes me a little bit, but I do respond to every comment. I do not have a assistant that does <laughs> um but uh but thank you so much for all the support over 3200 subscribers now i i just i can't thank you enough thank you so much i hope it's because i'm entertaining and you're having some fun watching because that's 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 what i'm trying to do this for one day you know that's a, I, I, <laughs> I have this thing in, in my mind uh that i'll be the the, the known as the bob ross of of gaming <laughs> I don't think I'm, I'm that much I don't think I'm that relaxing though I think I'm more fidgety than Bob Ross will, was, was ever he's such a he's such a smooth guy though isn't he you ever seen his, his painting shows he's just um, uh, I love watching it it just puts me right at ease every single time okay so let's get to the what, what are we doing tonight tonight we're going to be back on Atlas uh, no, we watch it so we can watch you slowly to go <laughs> That's probably accurate. Uh, leave it to Nope. He never he never cuts you know cuts me any slack, and I and I like that. <laughs> hey Tim, how's it going? Um, but yeah, so we're back on Atlas tonight. We're back in the single player mode. So you know it's just me <laughs> against the world. I have friends though. We remember we got elephants last time, and I have done some offline stuff. I know I promised I wouldn't do offline stuff, but I really didn't do anything major i just kind of fleshed out the dock a little bit and and made sure we had elephants to play with tonight because we don't have bears yet and i want to do maps i want to go get some gold that's the plan tonight we're gonna get gold but first you know what we got to do we gotta do the triple threat <laughs> and tonight's triple threat starts off with somebody who's a great supporter of the channel i don't see him in here tonight but he usually shows up and that's ngp odd gaming the dude is, <laughs> I, I can tell you, I've had many conversations with him in Twitter and in, uh, on different uh, comment boards. Um, we commiserate a lot about how many times we die in our videos. <laughs> so he might not always do everything right, but he does always entertain. So if you uh, get a chance to go take a look at it, he does like Seven Days to Die, he does a Sons of the Forest, uh, Conan, always fun to watch uh, go give him a look see i can guarantee you he will die at least once in each video he does because you know it's a thing it happens <coughs> not yeah yeah it's, it does it does happen to me i can't say it not to do anyway so then next up i've got someone else if you're looking for you know kind of more relaxed in situation while you're watching youtube and you want to see somebody who plays and 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 is very calm <laughs> Unlike me, um, Eric Kant. Um, she has, uh, she's got some really, really good Valheim videos, and I've featured her before on the channel. Um, she does some, she does a lot of Stardew Valley. If you like that kind of game, very relaxing. You don't have to go. You're not having like monsters chase you around. I don't, not that much, but yeah. So if you want to just go to relax, kick back. Watch Eric Kant's videos. The links in the description here in the uh, in the uh, yeah stuff below the comment comments no description below yeah that's it. Um, and then uh, we'll wrap things up with another seasoned gamer out there, and that's old cranky gamer. And he is currently well deep into um, the whole Mass Effect Legendary Edition. 
So if you're into the sci-fi stuff and you want to watch that kind of thing, go give them a visit. <coughs> I'm already losing my voice. This is not starting well. Um, but all these creators out there, you know, give them a look-see. Go by, say hello, leave a comment, leave a like. It really means a lot. And, I, you know, if, if you've never been on that side of the, the creation, <laughs> believe me, there's a whole lot of nail-biting going, is he ever going to watch this or not? Um, so go by, drop by, say hello. Say Yuli sent you from all gamers. That's fine. If you like their stuff, subscribe. I, you know, I don't want to force anybody to subscribe to anything, including my stuff. I mean, if you like it, that's awesome. But, eh, you know, I, I want you to have fun. That's what I want. Okay, uh, let's see. Hey, Yeltsin! <laughs> How's it going, dude? Um, I, oh, I, man, almost forgot. Welcome to the newest OG, Vulture... 585. Sorry, I had to like twist the trifocals around a little bit so I could read the number on there. But welcome, welcome, welcome to Vulture and to all the people who contribute to the channel, whether it's through uh, the the super sticker things on the chat or whether it's donations through my, my uh, Discord. I really do appreciate that. It helps me with funding things like the servers that we have on Discord. By the way, we now have ARC servers, we have Conan servers, we have a, I'll just say a starter Atlas server. <laughs> just something, you know, to just go out and play a little bit, learn learn the game. If you've not played in a long time and you just want to learn the mechanics and you don't be embarrassed by going and getting on official and lagging out or going on a big, big, huge, it's just one grid right now. Maybe we'll expand, I don't know, but it's out there. We've got a few people playing that and we're having a vote tonight in the Discord on either, <clears throat> what is it, V-Rising, Valheim, or Seven Days, I think is the three games that we had tied today on the next server that we'll put up. So um, so if you are part of the Discord, make sure you go and vote on the um, the announcement channel. And if you're not part of the Old Gamers Discord, hey, follow the link in the description below and join. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. Hang out with the real OGs. Play some games. Talk to folks. It's cool. It's always fun. <laughs> Gonna vote now. <laughs> hey, Jeff. How's it going? Only died once in Atlas on the third hour trial and was killed by a hammerhead while getting a loot box. So I decided to watch some videos and see how to play. <laughs> ah, well, you came to the right place. You want to see somebody who knows how to die. <laughs> uh, hi, they won't level up. Yeah, I've, I, I did find... Um, a script to add to it and so if i if i expand the the servers looking for maybe a four grid map just just to give some room for people because we've got more people coming in um i know i've i found a script to allow for the animals to level up and for the characters to level up past 100 so eh, we'll see um <clears throat> let's see what else what else what else oh you know what we probably should get started it's it's 9 39. <laughs> let's do that we can talk while we play all right so let's see single player host let's get started play single player hopefully everything works I, it did a few minutes ago it's under the announcement tab uh Yeltsin. And by the way, I'll, I'll, I'll say this while we're loading up, Meryl <laughs> helping me and moderate the channel. <sighs> you know, I would not be able to run Discord if Meryl wasn't out there helping me out. So hey, y'all give her a hand. <laughs> Tell her thank you. You appreciate all the work she does. Just kind of managing stuff <laughs> and calling me when, when I'm not paying attention and saying, hey, you, only, you need to fix this. So, uh, but thanks Meryl, for all the help that you provide. <laughs> okay. Um, I did catch a month. Well, that's not, I didn't catch him. That's one of the monkeys that I bred and his name is short timer. Cause uh, that's probably what's going to happen to him. He'll come with us. Remember the turtle? I found the turtle. He's back. It took me forever to get him from the other side of the island. Um, but <laughs> thank you, Penny. Um, Nobody might have gotten it like you invented the first week. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we, that, no, anything could happen. Okay, so we have, we have, um, we had the base. I, I don't know if I had this up. This is a, a crew resource silo, and it, it means that I can feed my, my crew. 
And, um, and if you don't have one of these, make sure when you can build one, I think it's an esoteric building. So it's when you get to the, to the, uh, stone building pieces, put one up because it feeds all of your crew that any ship that's anchored near your base or on the Island that you you have the silo up on and, uh, it'll pay them too. So, uh, so don't, you know, skimp there. Cause it, the other thing it really is great on it is it boosts the, um, the spoil time on everything you put in there. Like, see this uh, rice is uh, 99 days, 18 hours, 52 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it lasts a long time in here. So a lot better than throwing things in a feeding trough and, and such because it will really last a long time. Now, it'll only take certain things. It'll take food and it'll take um, coin. It will not take cooked meals and it will not take milk or eggs. Um, so you can't put that in there, but like crops and meat, either raw meat or, or cooked meat, it'll all go in there, dried meat, all that kind of good stuff. Anyway, so there's, there's the, um, the crew resource silo. Make sure you build one. Really? On my server? You have to check, I'll have to check it out, Penny, because it's working on at my base. Now, I don't know if it's not, uh, it should be working on that server. But it is it is feeding my people and paying them because I don't have uh, lotters on my boats because <laughs> I'm too lazy to put them on there. I'll look into it, see what I can figure out. Okay, so anyway, here's the hatchery. We had the hatchery last time, remember? And we also had the taming booth or <laughs> taming taming. What is this? Taming house. That's it. You know. Things, the cobwebs are creeping in there. Nope. Thanks for uh, jinxing me. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> um, but in here, remember we put the elephants in here and we, in, in look at here, I got elephants. I don't have bears yet. So the elephants are going to come with, and I could not put these elephants on this boat. Um, I know Nope did. <laughs> I have a picture somewhere on my uh, in my Discord that has Nope's boat with an upside down elephant in it. However, it happened. But here's the thing. Here's the strategy. All right. So I built I built a modular ship. I know. I know. I hate modular ships. Um. But I built this one, and it, the reason I this is the Tramp Hauler. Okay. It's the it's the first modular shipyard you can build. And when you look in there, there's two boats that you can build in there right away. There's the cog, and then there's the tramp hauler. The cog is okay. Uh, it's a it's a modular ship. I don't like the modular ships. They don't feel good. But the the reason that I have built the tr the tramp is there's a couple. One is rather than build a cog which only has one sail, I can build this and it has two. It also can carry a heck of a lot more weight. So if there's something that I want to pick up and bring back, I can do that in here. But the other reason I want to build a modular is because the modulars can have um, other stuff on them. So so they they come. You just you just put the resources in here and hit the button and it pops up. This is not a build ship, like a custom ship you would put together. I think I've got some videos on um, on the first series I on Atlas where I built a white schooner. And then I built the uh, the, the refit of the, the uh, sloop on um, how to build a, a multi-purpose sloop. But this these in the um, in the module ships, they just you put the resources and hit the button and boom, it's here. But I don't want four, which it comes with four, um, whatever these things are called. Uh, yeah, these these cargo haulers. I really don't need that. In fact, they really are in the way when you start putting stuff on here because there's, you can see there's not a lot of room. So what we're going to do, and I, I decided to wait till the stream to do it so that you, I, I could show, because I've had some people have problems doing this here recently, is I'm going to outfit this with a tame rail, which is where I, is the whole reason I want to have this boat, because I can put those elephants in the tame rail. It works just like that tame house. They just pop in there and they're they're in there and they don't take up room on the ship, and I can pop them back out when I get to the other island. Um, and we'll put a diving platform on there just because it's easier to get stuff on off the boat with the diving platform because you know it flattens the thing out. So we're going to go over here really quick. I'm going to make these up. I already have the stuff for them. 
Because we're going to go treasure hunting. Got, I got some maps. I have maps. Okay, so we want rails. We want a rail. Or a tame rail. And I'm going to make a diving platform. You want to make sure in these modular ships, there's going to be two kinds of rails. There's going to be um, just about everything. Is There's a railing with that particular thing, like dive platform. And then there's also a railing that has a, the same thing for the Kraken ship. If you don't have a Kraken ship, you don't want to use this because you use up your resources for nothing. So make sure you're not, you know, building the wrong rail. Kraken ships are big. I, I can't, I just don't like modular ships, so I just don't spend the resources to do them. But this, this is kind of a, let's do this so we can move the elephants around. And maybe we'll find a bear. I don't know. We'll see. I would love to find a bear. Okay, so to, to put these things on here, I, I, did I bring them? I did bring them, didn't I? Yes. All right, so you can put them in your hot bar, or you can just select them and on the keyboard, hit E, and you can see it turns blue, so that means I can place it in there. Now, I had somebody tell me that once you launch the boat, you can't do this because it gets in the way. Uh, I don't know. Let's try it. We're gonna we're gonna put one of them down. We're gonna put this one down for sure because I want to make sure we got that. Boom, and it just replaces that cargo rack. And now I can put these elephants in here. They'll just pop right inside there, and they will ride in there, and they will be comfortable, and and they won't be in my way. We're gonna put the ship the um, the other thing over here. Now I'm gonna try to replicate what somebody was telling me yesterday and make sure that it does still work um so we're gonna we're gonna release this boat ba, ba, ba. oh no no i don't want to do that okay there that's what i want to do look down the bottom release ship boom yeah they'll fit <laughs> three elephants on this boat uh, i would not even want to think about trying to get around them. let's see we're gonna say um Oh, she's not a tramp. She's a good girl. Okay, so she's not a tramp. All right, so we have this. Now, so now I've launched the boat, right? And according to somebody was having an issue last night or night four, once they launched the boat, they couldn't put the other rail on. So we're going to try it. Let's, let's drop anchor. You have to be in the shipyard. You can't not be in the shipyard. We're going to first, let's do that. Maybe that's a problem. Maybe it was anchored and that was the issue. Let's go over here and see if we can replace this with the dive platform no we cannot okay so let's go over here and anchor there now let's see if we can do it ba -ba -ba. dive platform oh can't place dive platform. i've subtracted okay all right so this is what i told him to do when you had this problem and let's go see if that will work if it can't get on there it's i won't it won't interrupt our journey but i do want to try this all right rail so this right here is just a ship railing and we used to have to use these before they patched the brails because you put animals in there and then you couldn't get them back out and then the only way to get them out was you had to make a regular rail and replace that ship rail and then they'd pop out sometimes Sometimes they wouldn't. Sometimes some of them would pop out and not all of them. Um, and then in season 12, they fixed it, <laughs> except for everything you put in there, it started cloning it. So they finally fixed that too. So uh, it, they they seem to be reliable. Anyway, you want this one. Not, again, not the Kraken one because it's not going to help us any. We need this guy right here. And I don't have enough thatch, but I have thatch in here. Tell me I have thatch in here. No, I don't. Wow. Okay, I have thatch somewhere. I know I brought a bunch of it out here. Thatch, thatch. <laughs> no thatch. We got thatch up here. It's okay. Just a couple more steps. Um, thatch. There we go. It really does help having the harvesters. I know there's people that say the harvesters are kind of breaking the game and it makes it so you don't have it, yeah, it is. It's you know. Let's just go ahead and put all this stuff over here. Um the harvester do make things a lot easier. And if you're playing solo, you know, you're not really competing with anybody. So why not put them up? If you're playing on official, 
and you're not on there day one, why am I thirsty? Seriously? Um, if you're not on day one, you won't get to put a harvester down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because all the places will be used up. You certainly won't be able to put a warehouse down. Um, I gotta go get some water. Probably should put a barrel in there. That's ah, alright. We're not gonna be on there that long. We think it'll be good. Okay, water's good. Water's drunk. Alright, now let's see if we can replace this uh, this modular thing with a rail. And see what happens. There's rail. Ow. Boom. There. Done. Now. Now is can we put this on here? We still cannot put it on there? Really? Oh wow. Well that kind of sucks. I just pulled my mind. <sighs> okay, so I guess, you know, these days <laughs> before you launch your ship. Maybe maybe we can try pulling out just a little bit. Maybe that's the problem. Let's let's try. And then we're gonna have to back back in because we gotta pick up the elephants. Lease anchor. We'll move just past the edge of the dock and maybe it'll fit. We're always science and it's 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 something to do. Why is why am I oh you know what? I don't have any people. <laughs> That's a problem. I have people. I, I'm gonna get them off the other boat. Come here, you. <laughs> yep. You come here. You come here. Come on. Over here, guys. This way. Yep. There you go. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. You got to really watch path in these guys because they'll fall in the water and then, then they just are in the way. All right. Come on. Did you? They, they made it up there. All right. So they're, they're going to. All right, you stop. Because if I try to get them over here, they're going to fall. They're going to stop. What did... Stop. There. Okay, now I'm going to jump over. And I'm just going to place them on the sails. With the comma. Hopefully that'll work. They should get them on there. There we go. All right, we got, we got sailors. And sailorettes. Okay, let's try... We're going to go forward just a little bit and see if I can't put this this um, dive platform on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come back. Come back. A little bit. Just come back just enough so that I can get the dive platform on. Science! All right. We can't do that. Hang on. Let's see. I uh, can't anchor. That's not a good thing. Obstructed still. Oh, because it's still obstructed. Uh. All right. Well, so lesson learned. <laughs> it's your modular ship before you let it go because I won't be able to get it in there anymore. That's really messed up because you should be able to put, you should be able to exchange stuff. Otherwise, you know, the point. I'll do this one more time. Just it probably because I can't anchor it would be the other issue. Let's see. All right, one more time. Nope. Nope. Not gonna work. Okay. All right. Well, we didn't need it on there. It's not necessary. Um, but we do need our elephants, and we need maps because that's what we're gonna do. You know the maps, right? So the little little uh, glowy bottles that are all in the water right near um, shorelines of these islands. Are going to be treasure maps if you've never done this before that's what we're going to do we're going to go take those maps and we're going to find us some treasure can i put them on ah that stinks all right probably got to take the saddle off maybe that was a problem uh don't fall off don't fall off don't fall off It's, oh, I got to take all this stuff out of them too. That's that is the problem with the tame rails is you can't have anything on the animal, and you can't be riding it, or it won't go in the tame rail. Load into tame cargo railing. Boom. See, gone in there, and it doesn't count as a, a body on the ship, which is also good. 
Oh, let's give George here a little bit of leveling. Oh, I forgot to introduce you. That was Beefcake. <laughs> this is George. Come on, George. Beefcake is the bigger guy. George has has been the um the go getter dude for my exports recently. Exploits off there. Hey, OG, I was just talking. And GP, we we're just talking about you. Load into tame cargo rail. Got to go. Phone needs charged. Okay. Take care, Firefox. Appreciate you coming in. Thank you so much for coming, Firefox. I appreciate it. Uh, okay. Now I got to go get the other elephant. One more elephant to go. Ah, don't step in that. I'd make a mess. All right. Um, dum dum dum. This goes on you. We're gonna give you some more health, and we're gonna go. No, oh, all right. That's good. Celebrate another time. This is tiny. She is lady, and um, and she's also gonna give us the the mate boost, so that uh, the guys they'll all three do more damage when they're you know punching stuff. Up, oh, wrong button. Take this off. Um, boop. And hop down, and we'll put her in the boat. And then we're going to grab our maps, and we're going to go to the island right across there. There's a bunch of maps over there that I have. All right, so let's see. These are, these are the bookcases. I have three because I have in one... My music, which I'll probably never use because I don't really play the, the musical instruments that well. <laughs> just saying, just saying. Um, and then I have all the blueprints that I've found from shipwrecks and such and such and such. So those are things I can build at some point if I really want to. Um, and then I have my maps. Okay, so we are in the quadrant that we are in. Atlas is we're in C8. Oh, look at all the bad guys. They're just ready to mess up my day. Um, so we're in C8. So what we're going to do is all the maps that I have, I'm going into my bookcase and I'm going to, let's go ahead and move. Oh, go into the bookcase. Let's go ahead and move these maps over. Okay. It'll just move over things that you have in it. So the bookcase will hold maps or music or blueprints. I have them separated out. So when I'm moving them, I just like put in the search maps and move them all over as I will have all of them in one bookcase and then blueprints. And I move those over and I have them all that way, you know, I can keep them separate and know what I'm, what I'm looking for. Because what over here you want to do is I want to be able to search for maps in C8. So if I put in C8, boom, I have all my maps for C8. Now, I know that that island that we were on, that I have the bee, the, not the bee, I'm collecting the ants on. Remember, we went over there? That has this feature to it. I know this because <laughs> I've looked at it many times. Um, so this, these, all these maps are for that island straight across the way. And so are these. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all these maps with us. Now, the other thing is, I believe... That is my little metal island. So we'll take those two. Because what you're going to do is to get these maps done, you need to take the map and you need to figure out where the X marks the spot is. And if you see, you look, let's go ahead and take these. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Okay. So if we look at our atlas. Okay. Now I zoom in on this broad, burnt, whatever. Red and Burke, whatever the heck this island is. You see this, this feature here, this bay. This looks, this is the same island that we're on, on the private server, right? Penny. So, so you, yeah, all the, um, a lot of people settled on this one because you can grow all the crops on the OG server. <laughs> on this island. Um, but this is the bay where the, uh, the Tortugas is, is spawning where y'all are at. Um, but anyway, so you see this feature. Well, if I look at, the maps I have in my inventory, you can see that feature. Now, sometimes it's oriented different. 
But that's the X is where we're going to get the treasure. And that's where we got to fight the bad guys. Because when we go over there, they're going to come crawling out of the ground and they're going to try to murder me. Um, let's leave stuff we don't need here and let's eat. I do need to eat some stuff. Because I can, I'm, I'm hungry enough, I can chew down a few things. Um, we're going to leave stuff in here. Since we can't use that, we'll leave it. Oops. Oh, still got that on there. That's an annoying feature. <laughs> you start typing something up here, it doesn't leave when you um when you leave off the box that you're working on. Um, so we'll leave that here. I gotta have that so I can move my my elephants around. So and these are this is foodstuffs. I'll eat that. And I'll eat the oh shoot. Ant. Give that back. Uh, where's my these? We'll eat these. All right, that should tank up my orange and yeah, I need to come back and make some like real food. We're gonna put the rest of it in here. I'm gonna bring some beans. If you have not started making food, get grow beans. The seeds are everywhere, and they actually give you yellow and pink. Um, vitamins with the same bite so you know you don't want to poison yourself and give you too much yellow it won't give you as much pink as it will yellow but it will you know kind of top it off um good on water probably should bring some milk i have milk somewhere oh it's out here i probably should bring the turtle just for kicks but i'm not going to do that right now because it'll take me forever to get him up there they move really fast in the water. They do not move very fast on the land. I'll vouch for that. All right, so let's drink a little bit of milk. That get my blue up, and we'll take we'll take these with us. We don't need to take these. We need to keep our seeds out of the fray. Okay, I think we're ready. Who wants to go treasure hunting? I was like, oh god, no, don't do it. I will say that. Um, when the last time I was over there, because I went over there to get the ant to bring over here, <laughs> there was there was an alpha lion over there. That that was not good. I had to sneak around so he wouldn't get me. All right, let's go. Let's let's find treasure. We're all about here. Treasure hunting tonight. Come on. See these things move pretty quick. I've found that. The modular ships turn better when your sails are closed, or at least on the closing way. No, they do not work like a fridge on arc. No, they don't. Um, they're basically, well, you, I mean, they just, they're just like anky transports. They, they swim really fast in the water, but that's, they don't move very fast on the out. <laughs> there you go. Ah, bad guys. Fast. Go fast. Let's go faster. What movie's that from? Two answers could be correct. Same actor said them both, but yeah, two different movies. See who can get it. See who can get see who can name both movies and the actor that said must go faster. And no, it's not Vin Diesel in Fast and Furious. <laughs> that was your guess. Don't embarrass yourself. I'm just kind of skipping past these boxes because, you know, if we're going to get treasure, we're going to need a lot more gold in, this, in those yellow boxes. The yellow ones are... They don't really have much gold in them. They might have a few blueprints that would be worth it. The purple ones are the ones that you... You want to get if you can. Old Jeffy Boy, yes, sir. Which movies? Two movies. He said the same line in. Very different movies. Well, they're both action movies. Then <laughs> William Shatner. <laughs> <sighs> Must go faster. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
I met Scotty. I did back in the day when I was a you know a young video store manager, and the chain that I was working for invited Scotty down for a grand opening thing. We had him as a promo person. I got to go eat dinner with him. He's a nice guy, or at least he was. He's not alive anymore. Um, I'm sorry if that's a spoiler for anybody, but Jurassic Park and Independence Day. Bing, bing, bing. Very good. Impressions of like Captain Kirk. Thank you, Reason Oh. But I did. Scotty was a really cool dude. And the funny thing is, we're eating dinner, and the drunker he got, the more Scottish brogue talking he did. <laughs> I mean, he busted out, like, when he was doing the um, the, the meet and greets and stuff for the video store, and he was, you know, the little kids would come up, and they wanted his autograph. I mean, he really he really played on hard. But when we were at the dinner that night, you know, it was just kind of like, eh, stop, don't hit the shore. Okay. Um, <laughs> but he really get get going on it when he after he'd had a few uh a few alcoholic beverages but great guy that was a long time ago surprise i can remember that far back all right <laughs> <I'm not clear. laughs> uh. We busted on Shatter too much. That dude's that dude is still around. I swear. Um, they just did a Comic Con here recently, locally in uh, Richmond, Virginia, and we were gonna go, but we had some other stuff going on. We couldn't do it. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, he was there. I've seen him at Comic Cons. He is he is like on. I mean, when he gets on the stage, he he just goes. Um, Talk about ad-libbing and just being able to roll with stuff. He's hilarious. In the way that Don Rickles was hilarious. I mean, if any of you know who Don Rickles are, I, I mean, was, or, durr, use your words there, Yules. Okay, so we are here on the island. And if you look on the island, where we are, let's pull this atlas up and zoom in closely. Okay, so here's where we are. And guess what? All of our treasure X marks are pretty much around this area here. I'm hoping they're around this beach here. There's some crocodiles out here, but going over here is means going up into the, you know, cliff faces and stratosphere. And elephants are not really good climbers. I, I don't know if you know that, but it, it, may, it may not look obvious, but they don't climb very well. Love Rickles here. <laughs> Don Rickles, I mean, talk about some of the classic stuff. And you know, the the movie, um, oh, what is it? Kelly's Heroes that had that that cast. Oh, my God. What a great cast that was. I'm dead. <laughs> uh, that's my demo, man. I I'm, I just, it tickles me to death. I love everyone that comes out and, and watches and participates in the videos and the chats and all that kind of stuff. But I'm telling you, there's a special place in my heart for, you know, the other old geezers like me that are still playing video games because why not it's fun okay so we're going to get our elephants out of here we're going to hit view tame information always made me think of rickles because believe it or not ripple no that's ripley's nope <laughs> okay view tame information we're going to pop these elephants out of here so they are they are in here just like in the taming barn uh, or taming house, they're stacked in here, and we just have to select them. And there's Beefcake. We're bringing him out first because he's the big boy, and we're just gonna pop them out, and they're gonna fall right next to the boat. And if they were smaller animals, they'd fall in the boat, right up here, and they kind of stack up each other, and that gets annoying. Anyway, come on, guys, let's go. Hopefully, the ship cats won't follow me too. And think about that. Hope they're staying on. Beefcake. Yep. George. Teeny. Tiny. Teeny. Tiny. Teeny. Tiny. Tony. Anybody seen that video? Look at that stuck in your head. <coughs> okay. We got some scorpions up there. We got everybody on. There's an ant coming up here. Hey, ant. I, you know, I, I needed to have an ant earlier. Are you going to? Oh, don't. Don't. Oh, they're going to do it anyway. 
Oh, he's not gonna. Ah, he's not gonna go after the elephants. Come on, beefcake. What the heck? Y'all yeah, stay here. Beefcake is like, uh, it looks like a boat. Maybe I should run through it. Playing that. Let's All right, dude. All right, let's see. Come on, let's put a saddle on this joker. Where's my saddle? <gasps> Did I leave my saddle? Oh, no. Oh, no. Tell me I didn't do that. No, come on. Oh, my God. All right, well. Come on. Let's go. Let's go over here. Are you not coming? Oh, okay. Over this way. Let's go way out. Dude. Killing me, Smalls. He's stuck in the boat. You're kidding me. All right. Well, just... Come on. The party is waiting on you, Beefcake. I cannot believe I left the saddle back there. That's going to be unfortunate. All right, well... We'll do this the hard way. I don't know if I can do this this way. We may, we may have to leave the boys here and go back and get the saddle. Right, maybe I can, you know what? What does it take? Saddles are expensive, though. I don't have any paste. Ugh. As we speak, we're in Atlas. But is that boat? <laughs> It's okay. It's a great boat to be in. All right. You need to get over here, Beefcake. I don't know what your issue is, but somebody needs to have a talk with you because you're you're really holding up the party. All right. You're going to just... Um, you know what I'm going to do? What, is, what level is this elephant? Hello, elephant. What are you? You're a level four elephant. Well, let's have some fun. All right, well, let's see. Go. Go get him. Get the ant. There you go. You're still moving like a ton of bricks in your butt. What the heck, dude? You guys are not fighting very good. You're supposed to be a team. See, this is why I need to have a saddle. I need to be able to, to direct them to do what they're supposed to do. So we're going to have to leave them here for a minute and go back and get some saddles or at least one. I need a saddle. I need to be able to ride a saddle. All right. Everybody come over here. This right here. That's where I want everybody to be right there. And I want you all on neutral so that you don't get killed while I'm gone. Hopefully. All right. I'm going to have to go back and get them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's get some, get some uh, hide here. Hatchet gets more hide. Come on, you old stink. Probably should get the marrow. Marrow is what you use to trap the tigers and the lions. That's their favorite food. But, uh, you know, I don't think I'm going to get enough marrow for one elephant to make a whole lot of difference. All right, you all stay there. Be nice. Play, play nice with each other. Don't be... Doing, you know, picking fights with people and stuff. Hey, look, how's it going, mine? I'm just being forgetful is what I'm doing. Because that's, you know, my shtick. 16 people out there watching. Thank y'all so much for coming. Hey, if you are having fun, make sure to hit the like button. Ding, 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 ding. My fancy sound effects. <laughs> they were free. It wasn't something I bought. Uh, I, I have a rule for my, my stuff. And that is, if I can get something for free, not stealing, but if it's offered for free, then I'm going to use it. Like OBS is free. And um, DaVinci, which is what I use to edit videos, is free. And if you're going to be doing this kind of stuff, you should take advantage of stuff like that. Because, yeah, why not? 
I mean, if I was if I was a graphics designer and I had gone to school and learned how to do all this stuff, then maybe I would have like super duper cool software. But I, I'm not. I didn't go to school for any of this stuff. I've learned it all in the last two years. Where'd my island go? Oh, there it is. I can barely see it over there. <laughs> oh, thank you, Yeltsin. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's amazing me. Doing good, Woke. Oh, no. The bad guys. The bad guys. Don't, don't let the guys. The bad guys hit you. I got no guns on this boat. Run. Run. Um. I better put this into resistance. Or sturdiness. Oh, no. Another one? Uh, oh, crap. There's a bunch of them. Turn. Turn. Ah. Run. Run. I'll get the wind. That'll be better. I can move faster. Um. Okay. None of them aggroed. That was close. I should look on my map, right? I, I am seriously amazed at how many people have subscribed to the channel. I, I'm so thankful for it. I never anticipated that this would really take off. <laughs> and it has. And it's fun. I'm having a great time. That's, that's I'm not really, yeah. <laughs> but thank you. And hey, if you do, there's, look, center specs again. Ba -ba. Woo. <laughs> You've never subscribed and you'd like to. That's not a problem. Just hit the button. <clears throat> no, seriously, I really do appreciate all of the people that, that watch the videos and subscribe to the videos and, and put up with my foolishness. And um, and hey, if you really want to get some, you know, good old fashioned old gamers fun, make sure you go to the Discord. It's in the description. The link is that would be what's in the description, and you can hang out with us and play games. We have Arc servers. We have servers looks like we're gonna have a v rising server i think is what the numbers look like um and then we have an atlas server that i just started that it's just for beginners it's well it's not for beginners it's for anybody who wants to play but if you want to learn how to play the game and you don't want to be like you know you're embarrassed in front of other people it's just us it's just other old gamers and and we're happy to teach people or help people or, or whatever it's all for fun all PVE. I don't do PVP. I'm I'm too old for that crap. I, you know, if you're a PV if you're a PVP player, and you enjoy that, that great. Have fun. I I adm admire people who um, enjoy that because I can't I can't do it anymore. I did it. I don't have the patience for it anymore. Uh, but yeah, the servers I run are all PVE, and uh, and it's just a good group of people that are out playing, and we all have fun together. Mostly, I think. I think they put up with, put up with me pretty well. Oh, no. I'm going to hit the ground. Okay. I didn't hit the ground. All right. Let's see if I can turn a little bit. There. Let's, let's, go, get, let's go get the saddle that we should have brought to start with. Yeah. Nope always makes fun of me for carrying around my axe and my pick while I'm walking. I forget. I mean, I pick it, you know, I have to use it for something, and I just walk around with it. It's like a pointer or something. Um, let's go grab some. Let's grab some food while we're here. <laughs> Squirrel. Uh, let's see. Is it in here? Where is it? Not in there. There it is. There it is. Got it. <laughs> Be right there, pressure. We're coming. We're coming. Oh, it's one of those alphas are not for beginners. <laughs> Okay, so they're bumped up a little bit. It's okay. You should, Penny. You and Nightman should have been with us when we were doing maps the other night. Oh my god, I'm, I'm like bring four bears. Ow! Thinking mana. Um, I brought. What's going on? Why am I stuck? Oh no, that's not good. Why am I stuck? Um. All right, let's let's get this out up down what was after me was it a shark can't get up my ladder what is going on um yeah i had bears and a couple other people had bears and we did a fine map and uh 
Got our butts kicked <laughs> on the second one. Killed all my bears. Um, yeah, that was not good. <laughs> yeah, well, that, you know, it's good and bad, right? Because we've got people all across the country and overseas that are playing. So time zones are kind of wacky. Um, and, uh, so the good thing is there's usually somebody in there playing. The bad thing is, you know, when you get a group of people, it's like two in the morning for me. I need my beauty vest sometimes. I'm lying. I usually stay up till three. <laughs> my trying to pull Meryl. Meryl's like, I call BS on that. Drowsy, what's going on? <laughs> hey, easy. How's it going? Easy was with us. He's the one that had to go back and get... <laughs> Re re reinforcement animals because we got all the rest of them killed off. I think Vardu kept his bear most of the time, but yeah, mine all got wham blasted. Drowsy got him a turtle the other, a tortuga. Yeah, I know. I can't. I, I try to get off here. No, Monotomy is like, you know, you need to go to bed at reasonable hours. And I'm like, I tried. I try. So it's like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna try two o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, okay, two two o'clock. And then I look up and it's quarter after two. And I'm like, well, I, I'm I'm in the middle of something. I'll get off as soon as I'm done. And then it's three fifteen. And uh, so then I come in bed the next morning. Monotomy is like, um, you didn't make two o'clock. Maybe we should make it midnight. <laughs> I lost some beer about an hour ago. The level 2100 something. Oh my god. Yeah, if I see the alphas, unless they're turtles, <laughs> I just run. Is there huge? I went to the I went to the Golden Island the other night. Actually, no, it was this afternoon. I went by there and just looked at the levels over there, and the pigs were like 586. I'm like, oh, I'm not getting out of here right now. Okay, now the boats are over there. They're going the wrong, they're going that way, so that's good. Maybe they won't turn. Don't turn. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Um, I just want to make it interesting. You don't want to be bored. Hey, Rhino, how's it going? Playing on the other server now and listening. Ha, ah, cool. So, so my plans for the Atlas server. So here's what I want. I don't want to put a bunch of mods on there because I think, I mean, I like to play modded servers. Lord knows I like to play modded servers. Anybody that's seen, you know, played any of my servers lately knows that I like the mods. I like it the mods, but you know, there's, there's people that have a hard time loading them all. And what I wanted to do with the Atlas server, I mean, if you want to play a, a big grid on Atlas, you know, certainly you should like do indecent Queens or, oh, well, they're shooting. They're shooting. That's all right, he's not going to follow me in this cove. Um, <clears throat> or uh, Radioactive or somebody like that, because they've got a lot of grids and they can, you know, and you can do it. they got a lot of mods too, but if you're looking for something, pull out. <laughs> Thanks, Nope. Warn them. Hey, turn around, get him, get him. Um, but I think what I'm going to do, I, I've been looking, Scarvig, if you've never gone to Scarvig's channel, um, S K R V S K R A no uh S K R S K A R V I G I think is how it's spelled but yeah go check him out if you like atlas stuff he hasn't done a lot of atlas in a while as far as videos about it but he's got some really good videos on different stuff and uh if you want to learn some things about it, atlas that's a great place to go um but he also has some videos on how to create servers. And the problem I have right now is I, I host things on G portal and I'm not, not sponsored by G portal. I am not, I've tried, but I'm not big enough for them to <laughs> give <laughs> to, uh, yeah, they're, 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 you know, I could, I could do, no, I, they, yeah, I'm not big enough for them yet. Anyway, um, but that's where I host my stuff because they've been really reliable for most of the time that I'm playing. Is that a gator over there? It looks like a gator. Um, 
So I host on G portal and G portal used to, when I f hosted Atlas many years ago, um, you could set your grids up the way you wanted to. And they, you know, they had selections like you could pick a uh, two by one or three by six or whatever. And the problem with Atlas is every grid is a separate server. So that's like 15 bucks a month for each one. Um, which, you know, if you, if you have the hardware and create your own servers, then, then you don't have to worry about that. But I don't have that kind of hardware. Like I said, remember, uh, I'm trying to get as much free stuff as I can. Um, <clears throat> but I have been watching videos on how to set up my own stuff. Anyway, Atlas has, I mean, Atlas G portal has a two by two option, which is four grids. And I may try them. The problem is when I, when I switch it, it's going to wipe out whatever we have. Uh, and I don't have a way to fix that. So I have, I'm trying to figure out whether I can figure out how to make my own maps and create a, a grid that's maybe two by two that is, that contains everything or to try theirs and just see what they have. Um, but that'll give everybody four grids to play around and, and I want to have, so we can do all the golden Isle stuff and get all the power stones. And that may require me to do a couple of mods, not big mods. I mean, these are not, these are like, um, these are mods that are, uh, under a couple hundred megabytes. I mean, they're, they're really just changed the way the game works so that we can get all of the power stones or that we can get some of the adventures to work. And if that's the case, if I can figure that out, then between now and, um, and the end of the month, I will have a four grid server up. And I, I'm not trying to compete with anybody. Believe me. I just want to have a place where people can go try the game out and have fun. Hello, crocodile. I don't know if you know this, but crocodiles are not hard to kill. They look intimidating as crap. And in the water, um, they are pretty formidable and uh, great water tames because they're really fast. But um, yeah, they their attack is so slow as a wild that um, you can pretty much work them over before they can eat you. Especially if you're on like an elephant, you know, because that's always good. The only one I need right now is Marvelous Spyglass. <laughs> you sound like Meryl. Marvelous Spyglass is the same thing as Awesome Spyglass on Arc, And we, we're currently running a rag um, server with no mods on it because we have some people that just can't get the mods to all load to run. And so <laughs> Meryl's worst nightmare. I don't have an Awesome Spyglass. Um <laughs> Hey, right now, so so just so you know, <laughs> on single player in this grid, I can't use the spyglass at all. If I pull the spyglass out, it, it it crashes the server. So I'm having to do everything without a sp any spyglass. So so yeah, what just fell over? Oh, it's a snake over there. Okay, all right. So what we're gonna do? This we're we're here to search for treasure, right? That's what we came here for. I think he needs to I'll just go back into the game and make my game spy class crash this game. Uh, yep. All right. So let's see. We are, where are we at? We're in this little boot, right? And we're over here on the, on the, the, the bottom of the soul. So let's figure out what map we have down here and we're going to get it. Uh, bottom of the shoe. Bottom of the shoe, bottom of the shoe. No bottom of the shoe, but there's a heck of a lot of them right there. It's like they're all right there. All right, so the way you do a map, you take the map, you put it in your hot bar. And when you put it in your hot bar, if you're near the place, it doesn't matter what slot, it's going to light up. Now, let's see if we can see where it is. Now, you do need to be close enough for it to light up. So let's go... Down this way. Watch them be up there. Ah. Really hate it if that's where they're at. But if you played Atlas and you've never done a treasure map, I'm sure you've died. <laughs> Just a hunch. And if you die, you know, you had the little green glowy uh, light thing. Well, the treasure mark maps look like that. Oddly enough, on the server that we're on right now, the, the treasure maps that we did the other night glowed green. 
usually they've been glowing red, but the ones last night or the other night glowed green on our server. I don't know if that's a t season 12 thing or what. Did I put it where? Where is this map? Where's this thing? Okay, so let's. One thing you can do is you can, uh, let's bring that up. Okay, dang it. Let's zoom in. Zoom in to the Atlas. If you zoom in on the Atlas, it'll zoom your, your regular map in too. Not doing it. Okay, let's try it again. Nope. We'll just use a plus sign then. All right, so where are we? We are. Still on the toe of the boot underneath. We got to get to the toe on the boot up top. So we got to get up. If you see like the uh, the the way the boot goes around, then has like a yeah. If you had that, if that was a face, like the bottom is the chin, and then there's a nose. That's where we got to go to the nose. You see the little eye up there. Let's, we're going to the nose. Hopefully, it's not eighty stories up. Up, oh, wrong button. Okay, let's go. Uh, I just got a text. I got to make sure my name is not. In. What are you doing up there? You're making too much noise. Got let Yetis last night. I went over there. I got a bunch of ice, and then I didn't <laughs> didn't have a tannery in my boat, so I couldn't make any bolas. So I did not get any Yetis. Yetis are easy if you have a polar region, <laughs> which is another reason I want to expand the map. Um, and you can put down a taming bucket or tame bait station. Yeah. Bait station, because all you do is put ice in it and some mushrooms and they'll fall asleep and you can feed them ice and it's easy. But on our server, that Island is the Yeti cave. Oops. Wrong button. Yeah. I can't get the food. Um, so you can't, you can't place a, um, item on the Yeti cave Island. So easy and red. Do you go with red? Y'all are getting all the good animals. Um, I guess they went over there and did it the hard. Oh, there it is. See, see, they see the red light. That's where we're going. Then when we get over there, if you have the map in your hot bar, the army of the damned is going to start crawling out of the ground when you get in the radius of the treasure. <gasps> you know what else I don't have? Oh my God. Oh, great. I don't have a shovel. Who's supposed to remind me to bring the shovel? Who was supposed to tell me that? Somebody was supposed to tell me to bring a shovel. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm gonna make a smithy right here and make a shovel. It's just me on here anyway. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. Be enough. What else do we need? Smithy. Uh, flint. Metal, stone, fibers. We can we can do this. We can do it. There's stone. I get some flint and some metal. <laughs> wow, that ain't giving me much metal. Oh, that's right. This is on vanilla settings. I got spoiled on our server because I got the harvesting rates boosted. Okay. All right, I need some five. Oh, eh, ah, ah. spider, spider. Where's Chrissy? Spider. Ha! Killed you dead. Mess with me, spider. Oh, let's go get the let's go get the stuff off of him. Probably use the uh, the paste. I hear a snake. I hear a snake. Here's snake. Come on, elephants. Get them. Get them. Get them. Get the snake. Ah! You, you snake. Oh, it's a lovely 76 snake. Throw some poop. Dang it. There. There we go. Kill him. Kill him dead. I'm gonna pass out. Ah, uh, poison. Okay, let's get some let's get some fiber. Maybe I'll fiber. Alright, let's see if I got enough to uh to put this smithy up and make a shovel because you gotta have a shovel if you're gonna dig up the treasure oh yeah right uh, see penny that's the problem with the, the well not a problem but there is a delay <laughs> y'all noticed it 
What else do I need? Oh, I need more metal? Come on. <laughs> I got a deficiency. I'm always deficient. Let's get some berries. Apples. Apples. That's what I call them. I don't know if that's what they really are, but... All right, there. Um, yeah, walk. All right, let's put a smithy. Still don't have enough? Oh, wow, four more metal. I don't need all this stone. Well, if I kick a stone out, then I might not be able to make the smithy. Come on! Let's go, metal. That's the thing. With with this game, all you have to do is have... have uh, <laughs> patience and skills. I don't seem to have either one. But uh, if you get stuck, you just make something. Um, Yeah, there we go. Smithy. And we'll put this down. Hopefully, I'll have enough stuff to make. Uh, wood. Probably that. Um, Probably what else? Uh, what else do I need for a shovel? Uh, oh, that's... Come on, don't I have thatch? Did I use it all up? I did. All right, that's okay. Here's thatch right here. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. And we put the thatch in. There. I didn't have thatch. Okay, there's, uh, now I have a shovel. <laughs> Vitally important if you decide you want to go treasure hunting is you need to have maps and you need to have a shovel. And preferably, you need to have some critters to help you kill the bad guys. Okay, so we're gonna do this now. We're gonna we're gonna do it. All right, uh, everybody's all bunched up. Y'all need to give me some room here. On, let's go. George, Tina, follow me. All right, so there it is. See, that's what we're going after. This is gonna be a common map. So, yeah, and elephants with cells, <laughs> exactly. Uh, um. This is a common map, so this won't be too hard, I don't think. Well, sure, I don't know what the levels. I have this, I have this set at maximum difficulty, I think, for for single player. So, phew, who knows what we might end up with? This looks like maybe some more fruit. I might need some fruit after this all is over. And see grapes, good. This is apples. Hey. Okay. Now, if you get over and you see, like, so one thing you can do is, especially if, if a map glows in an area that's got a lot of stuff around it, like, do you see all those trees around there? Those aren't bad trees, and the elephants pretty well take care of trees. But if you're in, if you're on, like, bears, bears don't do well against trees. Um, you may want to get the area cleared off so you get some room to fight. And to do that, it's real simple. If you go over here with the map in your pocket... Uh, or in your hot bar, it's going to wake them up and then you're going to be fighting and it's just going to be what it is. But if you do this and you go take the map back out of your pocket, let's try to do this without rem when, and remember where that map went. Yeah, there it is. Um, see, light goes away and I can go over here and I can do whatever I want to do. Clear off these trees. So I know where they're at. And then, I, and then I've got a clear shot at fighting these guys there used to be and, and fire spark has a video that says you could put signs around the outside of the perimeter of where those guys are and um and you can uh you can kind of trap them in there but penny says that doesn't work anymore so i trust her i don't i, I don't usually do that because if i got bears or i got elephants i really don't need to do that but if you're on your own and you just got like you know you want to do a heavy le high level map you better have backup because these guys are big and you don't want them to hit you. If if they hit your team, it's bad, but if it hits you, they'll kill you and they can't kill you off the back of your team. So, you know, like you'll see these guys pop out and there's going to be like soldiers that have swords and there's going to be archers that shoot crossbows and there may be a big guy with a big mace. And when he swings and hits you with that mace, he does a lot of damage, especially the higher level maps. 
So you don't want them to be able to hit you. If they hit the animals, it's okay. It's not great because they do a dot damage and you don't want to get your animals killed. But you don't want to get killed yourself because that boogers up everything. Especially if you're by yourself. Because they'll, they'll keep fighting your animals and your animals won't have anybody. I mean, they're, they're going to fight back, right? Because if you got them on neutral. Let's make sure that's happening. Neutral. Um, but when your teams don't have somebody guiding them, they, they, they don't react as fast as they could if you're on one. Okay. So we're, we're over here. Um, I'm going to back away a little bit, watch all the trees will start popping back in and then uh, you know, what I just did will have no effect at all. All right. So we got all our guys out of the way. Now I'm going to put this map back in my pocket, my hot bar. All right, there's the glowy little light again. All right, so let's go start this puppy up. There they are. See, and they're level 68. So they're now the trick is you got to kill all these guys before you can dig the treasure up, and you have to kill them before they go digging themselves back in the ground. Because if they dig themselves back in the ground, then they come back at full full strength. So no matter how far you get them down, if they go underground then they'll come back out and they'll be at full strength again. All right, so I'm just get these guys out of the way. Your animals don't really gain levels when you do maps, but you do. You can get this is a great way to level your character up, especially if you're going to a new island or you get the points for being the buff for being on a new island for whatever it is, 5 minutes or however long it lasts. Um and then you do maps on it, you get a lot of XP really fast. Okay, so we're going to get our shovel out. We're going to go um, let me see if I can do K. Nope, can't do it. <laughs> I was gonna just gonna show you the the nope bend in half thing, but you can't do it that way. All right, so we're we're trying to get like right underneath of where the light's coming down, and when you get just about there, I mean you don't have to. It doesn't have to be perfect. You'll see when you go to dig. Um, if you're on the treasure, it'll start digging it up. So let's dig. There it is. Look at that. Dig a couple times. And boom, I got, I got stuff. what I get? I got, oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I do have the, the treasure boxes boosted. Ah, uh, but yeah, I got a lot of gold. I got some blueprints. Did I get any actual stuff? A lot of the stuff you're going to get is blueprints. Oh, I got a good hook. See, that's a real item. Um, I got a Billy. No, that's a, that's not a real. Oh, I got some armor. I got some uh, heavy armor. I mean, uh, whatever. The uh, cold stuff. Fur armor. And anything else good? A lot of stuff. <laughs> I think I have this boosted way too high. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got this boosted way too high. Oh, look, I got a shipyard. The other thing you're going to worry about is when you're doing this stuff is if you get actual tangible items, you see that that's 28 pounds. It does have weight. The, the blueprints, not so much, but if you get a bunch of actual tangible items and you might want to put them on your team because, but see, I got a level there just for digging up that, that, um, person or that thing, whatever it is. Yeah. That thing. Um, I don't know, really need to spend it right now. Okay. So there's one treasure. That's a lot of gold. <laughs> I'm so heavy. I can't move. Beefcake. Help me out here, buddy. Um, let's see. I don't need these rocks. Let's get rid of the rocks. That will help a lot. Um. Oh, look. I got armor. Ooh, let's put that on. Let's do this. This is how I was talking about when you, if you want to move your stuff really fast into those uh, bookcases, if you type blue in the search thing, it's going to move. It's going to select all the blueprints and you just move them over. Boink. There. And they're all out of the way. I can actually see what I got in here. Um, okay, we're gonna move this. That's heavy. Oh, I got a blue shovel. That's good. Look at all the good stuff I got. Oh, okay. Um, we're gonna go back to me. And we're gonna. This this armor might be too hot, but we're gonna try it. Boink. Ah, look at that. I'm all big and bad. Um, we're gonna get the better shovel. Maybe not. Let's take this shovel out. Let's give me this shovel. Let's go. Oh, what? I can't use it? 
Oh, I haven't done... Oh, I can't use that one yet. You have to get your levels up to be able to use higher level stuff. I haven't leveled that, that up yet. Oh, wow! Drowsy, thank you so much! Holy moly! <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Easy, man. That, that really is awesome. I appreciate it. It goes to the servers. That's what I spend this money on that I make off YouTube. It goes to the servers and the games that we play on the channel. So thank you so much. That That is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go do another map. Oh. Now I'm all, my, my face is all flushed. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> okay, we're going to get on the shore over here because sometimes when you put the map in your in your pocket... You're standing right where it's at. Especially if you're on an island that's got a lot of maps. So let's try that. We're gonna we're gonna do a green one. Need that two by two. <laughs> All right, dude. I will make sure that happens. Um let's put this one in our pocket. This is gonna go off right about the same place, I think. This is gonna be a bigger one. These guys are gonna be bigger. Yep, same place. How are my elephants doing? Everybody good? I think health is... Everybody's doing good. Uh, Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Um, I probably need something. Um, I don't need to drink anything because it's raining. Let's eat some fruit. Um, We're going to eat one piece of rotten meat. Just like on Ark... Um, you can eat rotten meat if your health is up high enough. Uh, and since I have his monkey on my back, he, uh, he actually helps me heal. I'm not so worried about eating raw meat, not rotten meat, raw meat. Um, but yeah, that ought to get my, my vitamins up. Okay, here we go again. We're gonna, we're gonna take on... Some higher level bad guys. We'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, wow. Thank you, Easy. I really appreciate it, man. Okay, here we go. These are level 96. And there's more of them. See the guy with the big mace right there? That's the one you don't want to hit. Because that... And some of them will have shields. And when they go... When you swing at them, you hear a thump. Oh, he's a big guy. We got to kill all these guys before they go back under. Because if they go under... Oh, oh, big guy with the mace is hitting my elephant. All right. I'm going to put on boost. Because I'm going to do damage. There's a damage boost buff that you can have with your aminals. Oh, this guy's gone back in. So you see, he's coming back up with full, full power. They're going after that guy. Let's get this dude. Oh, you got his shield up. Oh, come on. They'll keep coming up until you kill them all, or they kill you. Oh, he went back down. All right, guys, you can't scatter like this. We're going to be here all night. Kill the big guy. Kill the big guy. Everybody kill the big guy. Come on. Let me out. Let me out. Everybody kill the big guy. Ugh. Stop. Knock him all over the map. That's, see, that's the advantage of having bears because the bears, their AOE is not... Oh, he's going back in the ground. Dang it. Nope, there he is. Um, the bears' AOE is large, but they don't have the big knockback that these guys have got. And when they knock them all across the map, then it's harder to kill them before they go back in the ground. I'll let this guy come out, and we're going to kill him. He should be easy enough for me to do. And then we'll all join in on the last guy. Don't you run away. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Don't go back in the ground. No. Ah. Almost had him, too. Oh, they're still chasing that guy all over everywhere. I'm going to rage again. I think I got it. All right, let's go. Let's get him. Let's do this. Come on, dude. Let's dance. Oh, 
Okay, that guy's dead. All right, let's go get this guy. Did y'all kill him? Good job, guys. Let's go make sure he's dead. <laughs> no, he's not dead. He's still over there. All right, let's go. We got to go back over and kill this guy or else I can't dig it up. Got to have all of them dead. Uh, stamina. That's the problem with elephants. The stamina is... Until you build it up some, it's it's kind of sucky. All right, go get him, guys. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Kill him. Oh, and then he went back in there. All right, let me get my stamina back up before you come back out of the ground, dude. Here he comes. Here he comes. If I can, I don't think I can boost again. Yeah, I can. Problem is, I'm. Oh, he's going back in the ground. Come on, guys. All right, so what I need to do is we need to play ping pong with this guy. Now, let them hit him to me, and then I'll hit him back to them. There we go. That might. Oh. See, you guys don't know how to play the game. Ping pong means I hit him to you and then you hit him back to me. Let him go back in the ground. Don't let him go back in the ground. Oh, come on. Stop knocking him all over everywhere. Oh, there he goes. Dang it. I don't have enough stamina to get in front of him. All right, let's try this. Yeah, he'll come back up. This is better. This is better. No! Stop knocking him off to the side! Dang it! Ah. I really wins my bears. Ah, he's gonna go back in the ground. No! Ah. Alright, I just need to let them play with him a minute and let me get my stamina back because he's not hurting them not enough to worry about but we're going to keep doing this thing of going back and forth if we can't get enough damage on him and I can't do enough damage while I've, my stamina is down we're just going to wait here for a second I don't have enough stamina to stall <laughs> and barely swing Uh, all right, let's get the torpor, torpor down. See if I eat something. Oh, elephant eats something. Come on. Maybe we can knock him up against these rocks and he won't be able to go but so far. There. Now yeah, let's try it. Oh, come on. Guys, you, you're taking all the... my stomps away from me. Get him, get him, get him. Ah. <laughs> oh, come on. Let me get these trees out of the way. Might as well. I need to get my... Oh, I got my stamina back. Finally. Guys, don't go out in the water. There's, there's crocodiles out here. Come on. Ah, uh, I'm out of 
of stamina again. Come on, come on, no, don't let him go back in there. Oh, come on. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh. There you go. He's got some. There, I'll give him some food. Let's 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 get yourself all pumped up here. Thank you, Penny, for the advice. <laughs> Why is he just always out of stamina? Oh, these guys are starting to take some damage now. All right, we gotta get this. We gotta get this fast. Cause I don't think Tiny's gonna make it much for much longer. Come on, stop! Oh, good God! Back up, Tiny. You are not gonna make it. You are not gonna make it. Oh crap! He's going back in the ground. Now I've lost my. Oh, this is painful. I don't think Tiny's gonna make it. I don't think she's gonna make it. Oh, come on. I so miss bears. I so miss bears. Yeah, come mess with me. Hurting my little bitty elephants. Tiny's only a level 40. <laughs> She's not really. Oh, there goes Tiny. Tiny, no! <laughs> uh, let's, let's, come on. George, George, let him go for a minute. I mean, I know he's just going to keep coming back out, but. Honey, honey. Lord. We're not doing enough damage. And this stupid. Come on. I'm I've got my boost. Let me hit him. Uh -huh. Alright, well. All I'm doing is using up my boost. Just gonna get out of the way. Get my stamina all the way up. No, don't come over here, George. I'm trying to there's a strategy I'm trying to work here, and you keep messing it up. <laughs> so the moral of this story is, don't do the finer or the higher level maps until you have animals that can actually kill the guys, because then this happens. Really? Ah, it takes so much energy to do this and then you knock him out of the way. Just let him go in there, George. Just let him go. Just let him go. Just let him go. Monkey's throwing poo at it. God, get out of the way! This might be easier with just one elephant. Come on, let me get close enough to attack. And there it goes. Yeah, this is this is probably not gonna work. Yeah, I know. Elephant Stam is not the the best, that's for sure.
I mean, I got him all the way back up, but he's already turning purple. Every time I swing again, it's just going to make it worse. Almost want to make, you know what? I think I know what, I think I know what to do. I think. Oh, new subscriber. Welcome to the, oh geez there, Charlie Myers. Okay, there we go. Now we got, now we got some stuff going here. All my elephants are dead. So I don't have to fight with anybody to fight this guy. And he's going to go back in the pot. Okay, let's, let's just get ourselves. <laughs> George and Tiny are gone. <laughs> Two elephants down for one map. All right, come on. Bring it, dude. Come on, come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes. Done. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should just throw out one elephant. Beefcake alone. <laughs> oh, okay. Make sure if you enjoyed that fight, leave a like. <laughs> Oh crap, they're all back. Oh geez, it took too long. Oh no, this is not gonna go well. Well, I'll see if we can get this one faster. Now that I got just one elephant to worry with. All right. Okay, get your, get your act back together there. Come on. Yeah, see, he's got his shield up. I see. All right, you can't keep your shield up all the time. Big guy's coming. He's going to go back in the ground now. If I can kill this little guy. Then... We may actually see what this treasure is going to be. All right, that guy's done. All right, big dude, come on, bring it. Because I'm going to do my nature's cry and get my health back up. I mean, my... Uh, I melee up, and then we're just going to wail on this guy like we did the last one. Hopefully, I keep knocking him into the... You go under? Oh, you... Ugh. Oh. Gotta get him against these rocks. Oh, he's running. Come on back here, chicken. What is he going after? Yeah, go kill that crocodile. <sighs> Alright, come on. Come on back. There. There we go. Let's go back over here. <laughs> torpedoes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need. Peanut torpedoes. Come on back over here, dude. Oh, that's right. Come on over here. Let's let's fight on solid ground. He's gonna go back in the ground right there. Which gives me a chance to get over here. Turn sideways. Maybe I can pin him against some rocks. Let's try. Let's try. 
We're gonna get it this time. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. Don't you do it. Don't you go back in the ground. Oh. Balls. <laughs> we, could, we might not succeed on this one. I mean, I'm not taking really any damage. It's not like he's going to kill me or my elephant. But I don't know that I can kill him. Because he's going to run. As soon as he gets low and try to get back in the ground. Oh, see, see, see. Dang it. And then I can't move fast enough to get him. Ah, there he goes. I need to have a cliff face or something that I can pin him against. Let me see. What's over here? Plus, we got to do it within enough time that I can, um, you know, not have to do the whole group again. He's not following me, is he? Yeah, he is. Okay. Come on over here. Let's find something to beat you to death against. He's just screwing around over here. Alright. Changing strategy. I think this might work. This this might be the place. If if I can get him against this I don't see. He keeps bouncing. Swing faster. It's gonna go back in the ground. Dang it. Come on, come on. Get him. Come on. Come on. Get him. 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 Come on. Get him. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Yes. Finally. Now, did I get it in time? If they all come out of the ground again, I'm like, oh, we're done. Oh, come on, move, elephant. Go. Why are you uh, oh, what are you stuck on? There. All right, there we go. Yay! We did it! <laughs> Crocodiles are gonna go over and eat me. Um, let's see what we're gonna get. This should be a better treasure. More stuff. That was the last one. Yep. Look at that. 7.1 treasure. Let's see how much money I got now. What did I get? Woo! That was like 5,000. I'm going to have enough to build a brigantine dock soon. What other kind of good stuff I get? I got, um, all right, I've got a bunch of blueprints. Uh, I got a ship plank, dump portal. Anything else good? That's what the traders are good for. The, so honestly, when you're doing these things, oh, look at that sword. Oh yeah, thank you. That'll be a good sword. What? I can't use it. Oh darn. Okay. Um. So the the treasure. So there's there's a few ways you can get loot in Atlas, right? So you can get loot from the the boxes that you find out in the in the ocean. And that's a good starting place to get you a little bit of gold to hire a crew and, and be able to get, get started. Right. And then you can get uh, a decent amount of gold and it's not a lot, but you can get a little bit depending on your, what your servers boosted at, or if it's vanilla, it's not going to be, you know, get it on the weekend when they, they bump the rates up, but the shipwrecks the, that you, you know, I've y'all seen me dive shipwrecks, right. And you go down and you can dive. You don't have to have a dive platform on your ship. Especially if you put points into um, being able to hold your breath longer and speed in the water. Um, so you get a little bit of gold that way. Uh, but if you really want more gold, you need to do these maps. And you'll get a bunch of XP with it. The other way you can get gold is killing whales. And we'll get to that at some point. I, I, I think I specced into a ballista. I think. Let's see into ballistas believe yes 
So, so what we're going to do is, uh, you know, I'm going to get a ship together that I can do whales on. We'll go get whales. Whales will have a lot of gold too, but the maps have gold and blueprints. The ships of the dam, those, those red and green and purple and all that kind of stuff that were out there. Um, I can sink those if I have cannons on my boat and I can get a little bit of gold and a lot of, a lot of blueprints and I can get sailors too. Um, because there'll be somebody I can get. All right. So let's just do these comments and let's get them out of the way. Cause I got, I still got, well, oh, that's me. My health is doing great. <laughs> uh, fortitude is weird. Fortitude, I don't know what's going on with this game, but I no matter where I'm at, if I go to one grid to another or one island to another, it looks like my fortitude changes, which it shouldn't be doing that. It should, we put points in fortitude, it should stay there. Um, but it doesn't seem to do that. Let's see, how's my elephant doing? Beefcake, how are we doing? Are you doing good? Um, look at how much wood he's got. No wonder he can't freaking move. Way to you. Oh, wow. He's got a lot. It's another reason why you don't want to do these battles when you got like in the middle of a bunch of trees because your, your, uh, critters will get bogged down with stuff. Wood. Let's get rid of all this wood. Um, what is this? Fur. Fur. And we can just drop all of the fur by just hitting that button right there. There. And yeah, that's all out of the water. Let's get uh, out of the inventory. Let's get all these blueprints out of the way. I can see how much weight I'm carrying. Um, and did we, did we get, oh, we got a good bow. Got some purple pants. Woohoo. A gun. I got a rifle. Wee. A spear gun and a pistol. All right. So I got some good stuff so far. Um, let's stock these. Get some. Wow. He's like halfway to being unconscious. <laughs> Just from overstimulation. Let's call it that. Poor Beefcake. You're all alone now. You had friends. One time you had friends. Tonight, earlier, like, you know, half hour ago. Now you have none. <laughs> That's okay. His mom and dad are back at the ranch, you know, making more elephants. So it would be okay. <laughs> uh. What do you think? Y'all up for more treasure maps? You want to get the rest of these guys done? Let's just put that in there. That's the same place. Yes, it is. These, these are small ones. These won't take long. Just kill all these guys. Be done with it. 84s. 84s? Okay, all of them but that guy's. We got everybody down but that big dude. Well, he'll be back in a minute. I don't have any more. Hello, uh, yeah, I can't enrage now, but I can heal if I need to. But yeah, I'm not going to kill this guy this time around. Let's see if I can bounce him off this wall. Uh, it's not really high enough. Yeah, go back in there. That way I can go over here. Maybe I can get you so I can pin you against that rock. Let's try that. That worked last time. Seemed like a good strategy. We're going to go ahead and heal up while he's coming over here because he's going to start wailing on me on the side, I think. Yep. Uh, see? That hurts a little bit. I'm 
get under. Don't let him get in there. Red. Stuck in the trees again. And he's under. Ugh. Yeah, I know. The mate boost is gone. I don't have my... Oh, I can get my, my uh, enrage buff on again. Let's do that. See if I can get this guy real quick. Get him, 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 get him. I don't think, I'm, I don't know. Come on, get him. Come on, come on. You can do it. Come on. I don't keep hitting you. Couple more swings. You can get him. You can get him. You can get him. You can get him. Ah, ha, ha. My elephant's going to pass out. <laughs> Beefcake, you done good. All right, let's dig this one up. I'm encumbered. I must have got some good stuff on this one. Oh, wow, maxed out gold. Okay, I can build a I can build a brig now. That's nice. Look at all this armor I got. Ship parts. I wonder I'm uncovered. I'd say that's a fairly successful night. I can build a brig. Should we see what else is over here before we head back? I think we ought to look around a little bit. You know, since Beefcake has done such a good job. It's a shame he hasn't leveled any, has he? No. Gotten zero levels out of all us. All that work and no levels. But if you kill his croc, you get something. No, maybe not. He's only a level 24 crocodile. <sighs> Poor guy. Lost all his friends. Exhausted from the fight. And still in there slugging away. Alright, well, let's let's look around a little bit while we're over here. You know what we need to do? We need to go over to that other island. I don't have any maps for it, but we ought we ought to explore it a little bit. And just see what's over there. Because I think I think what I need to do it's <gasps> that alpha scorpion. No, he'll kill. And you know what? I think I can kill him. All right, let's do it. Let's let's try it. This might be an alpha scorpion. I wish I had the spy glass. <laughs> that would make it a lot easier. <laughs> He's like, nope, not having it. <laughs> oh well. Well, that's gonna get some points. He come back. Oh yeah, he's coming back. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know if that's an alpha or not. I just can't tell. Can't use a scope. Let's let him hit me one time. And see what happens. That's an alpha. That's got to be an alpha. Oh yeah, eight eighty-two. Yeah. All right, we're gonna kill this guy. That should give the elephant some points. Because alphas really do boost your. Um, your XP of your animal and you. <laughs> oh, poor bull. Sorry. At least the scorpions... Yeah. The alphas don't climb back in the ground. I'm going to have so much wood on this elephant again. This is where the knockback comes into advantage because that scorpion at 888.92, if he hits me, he's going to really put some poisonous on me. Uh, 
I'm overloaded again. No, I'm not. I'm not overloaded. Oh, he's just running. He's just running. He's got he's got half health. Oh, sorry, pig. Wow, you really knocked him for a loop that time. So we did maps. We've done dives. Listen, how old am I? I'm only 24 years old. I really can't go to find. You know, we need to go find some golden islands. So I think what probably I need to do is build a ship that's got some cannons on it. I don't have to worry about the bad guys. Ooh, yeah, he hits hard. Um, get a ship that's got some cannons on it and then go looking for golden ops because maybe, I don't know. I don't, if I got enough guns, I might be able to take a hydra. I don't think, I don't know. By myself, hydra would be tough. Dragon would really be tough. But we could kill some cyclopses. That'd be fun. Back here. I'm not getting any levels on this guy. Is he maxed? He can't be maxed. Oh, he's not getting any levels because he's maxed. Well, that's unfortunate. There in beefcake. You're as good as you're gonna get. Sitting here trying to level you up. Putting you in danger and stuff. Sorry. Is he gonna run away? Uh, I was gonna let him run away. <coughs> Monkey, you're not really helping throwing poop at the back of the head of the elephant. I need to heal you up, though. Okay, he's done. I don't think he's going to come after me. I can't level up my elephant, so that's really... Was the whole point of going after the the uh, the alpha was to level up my elephant some. That, that's, on, that's just not right. Poor guy. Lost all his friends. Can't level up anymore. Man. Just out of luck, dude. Then you get the monkey throwing poop at the back of your head the whole time we're fighting stuff. You should, you should like, not like me at all. Like, I don't. You suck, dude. Um, but yeah, we could go to the Golden Isles. I, I gotta find one, because, you know, this is the... This is the map, and this is where we've been so far. Um, there's Golden Isles there. There's gold. See these little Power Stone Islands? That's how I know. That's where I got to go if I'm going to fight, like, the Hydra or the Cyclopses or things like that. Um, but since I have Fog of War on, I can't see what is all these places. But there's definitely enough islands where I can get all of the, the stones... One of these grids is going to be the Maw, which is where the Kraken lives. I don't know which one that will be. Changing the rates tonight. What is tonight? Tonight's Friday night. I should, but um, I haven't put a vote up in there. So what I need to do is I'll put a vote up in the channel tonight when I get off stream tonight on what y'all want boosted for next week, and we'll swap them out tomorrow. Um, do y'all want gold boosted? Do y'all want... Um, Breeding boosted? Do you want XP boosted? What do you want? What do you want to boost? And um, and then I'll do that. I may go ahead and add the script to the server and see if it'll um it'll allow them the higher level teams to keep leveling. Because right now the the teams on our server are pretty high level if you get a good one, and the servers. The, uh, the game is hard-coded to cap how many levels you can gain on a team. So once they get over like 125 or something, then they don't they can't get any more levels, regardless of whether it was their first level or not. That's a that's that's a little bit frustrating. I got to figure out how to get that off. You know, we could go back to like regular animals and have max teams at 40. 
but it just seems so small. <laughs> I know it makes everything else that way, right? You know, like the Army of the Dams would be level 40s and 150s and stuff like that, but just so much, so much more satisfying to like, um, came or Tortuga at level 300 and 30. <laughs> uh relatively it's the same thing i i get it i understand i understand the game physics but um i'm reading my my screen went to 480p instead of 1080 i'm broadcasting to 1080 so if this you know y'all have to let me know if this server goes kaput and doesn't give you this the um frames it doesn't, looks like I'm not getting any drop frames. That's a good thing. But my my uh, monitor that I'm watching the video on just suddenly went to like 40, 480p. Look, there's a spider. That's uh, that's an alpha spider too. I see, you know, it'd be cool because I could level him up, but I can't. Monkey, you need to settle your jets. He's just going crazy. So yeah, I'll leave Taman at 8x and then we'll... Um, I'll put the vote up tonight as to what y'all want to do. Do you want to leave Taming at eight X? Do you want to make um, gold um, boost four times, or do you want to boost whatever? Understand that we'll um, we'll be within a week of going to four grids, and when that happens, everything goes away. I wish, I wish I could not do that, but maybe. Okay. <laughs> Um, oh, you got those two Tortugas. I see. I get you, Easy. I understand now. Um, but yeah, I... It's no fun to restart every five days or something like that. I, you know, I don't like restarting. But, um, but I gotta kinda... If I'm gonna host Atlas servers, then then the understanding has to be that we're gonna have some wipes. At least until I can figure this thing out. I, you know, if I could, if I could coast my own servers and not have to worry about like G portal or anything like that, then I could do cool stuff. If I was also, if I was a heck of a lot more tech savvy, you know, I, that's why I always recommend, you know, folks like indecent Queens because serial, uh, one of the admins there, he keeps those servers running and God bless him. I mean, he, through all the upgrades of Atlas that breaks everything, he mostly keeps all the servers running without having to wipe. I mean, we've had, we had a few wipes since I've been playing with them over what, two years, I think. Um, but, but it doesn't happen very often. And the only way you can do that is if you know how to code the stuff so that you can get around it. And I don't, I'm not going to pretend I do. Um, I'm going to have to get stuff off of you. That's going to overburden me, but, I'm gonna have to go put this on. Oh, oh, can't move. All right, what what can I move off of me? Let's sort by weight. Wait. Um, um, I need to sort me by weight, not the thinking animal. Okay, let's get let's get so I can move. Let's move this off. I still can't move. Yeah, I can move now. Um, but yeah, what I'll do is <clears throat> I think I'm going to try the two by two map that G portal has. We'll explore it and see if at 180 wild. Yeah. Is the max we've got right now. Um, I will see if. If the four by well two by two grid actually has, you know, good stuff on it, and if it does, then that'll be the server we play on for a while. If it does not, and I have to figure things out, oh, I don't have anything to put anything in. Dang it! Um, like I was saying earlier, Scarvig has a um, he's got a map that's a three by three, which is still a pretty hefty of servers to run um 
And so that'd be nine grids to go to. Army high quality maps before white. Yeah, then that makes sense. Um Oh, I can't move. Problem I'm gonna have is I got a feeling I'm not gonna go put everything in these cargo racks. I'm gonna run out of slots. Yep. <laughs> I don't have a ship's thing. I don't have anything. Um probably got enough resources to build some boxes. Let's do that. Okay. Let's put some boxes in here. See if I can get all this bounty back to the base. But yeah, so we'll 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 try to get a two by two, so a four grid map up sometime in the next week or so, and we'll see how it works. If it works well and everybody's having fun, then that's what we'll run for a while. And if it doesn't work well, then we'll figure something else out. But I want to be able to have something where we can at least get all the power stones, even if I have to put a mod on to do that. And the mod that I have seen is not very big and it'll allow you to have all the power stones. It'll basically put them in your inventory. So you don't get the full experience. But at least play the game, right? Get all that off. Let's see what I can put in here. And then we'll do the. I got to look at Discord to see what the vote looks like. Um, you have enough resources to build a whole base there. <laughs> Most of this stuff is blueprints, though. I don't think I can get him on the boat without putting him in the rail. And the problem is I can't put him in the rail if he's got anything in his inventory. I want this. Uh, I would like to have that. I'd like to have that. I don't need this stuff. Okay. And I need this. Okay. Now you can go in the rail. Uh, watch I get eaten by a crocodile while I'm out here but it looks like we'll have um, add to arc and atlas and everything else we'll have moving team there we go um, we'll have whatever is the discord anybody in the discord to see what the vote is right now I mean, I really do enjoy running these servers and, and having places for people to play. So I want to have games that people want to play. Um, there are some that I can host that I don't have the game. But if people want to play it, I don't mind. I just can't. I can't. I can't monitor it like I'd like to if I don't have the game. And Seven Days to Die, we could do a Seven Days to Die. We've had Seven Days to Die before. But I can't play the game for whatever reason. I can't even get in there and help if something goes wrong. There's a bad guy. Where's my wind? All right, let's see if I can get across here without getting killed. V rising at the moment. Okay. You know, V rising. I played it a little bit. I played it on uh, you know kind of a first look thing and. I'm not a big fan of the top-down games, but I 
I don't mind playing them, and it could be fun if you had a bunch of people playing together and and you know did the like the boss battles and stuff like that together. But I haven't really been back to it. I hear there's a big update. I don't know if that's a paid update or if it's just a update. I mean, a paid DLC or if it's just an update at the moment. But then it also late others. It's late, so others have gone to bed. Yeah, well, I mean, I said whatever was at the top of the list, I think, when I get up tomorrow. Is that what I said? I can't remember. <laughs> and that's what we'll do. We'll put that server up. And, yeah. Um, and that's, if you're interested in playing it and you've not joined the old gamers Discord, okay, cool. Um, or else is a not paid up date, so... You don't have to worry about buying it to do it. But, yeah, I have the servers up, and if you are interested in playing on any of the OG servers, if you're not a member of our Discord, make sure you go to the link in the description of this video to our Discord server. I keep the information on the servers that we run in the Discord channel that the, you know, the game represents. I keep them pinned, so you go in there, hit the pin button at the top, and it'll give you the information. And I do that not to, you know, push anybody away i just i need i need to know about how many people are playing so that i can make sure that there are slots available for people to play on because i don't want to be in a position where people are trying to get in and can't because you know the server's full um you know that'd be a good problem to have <laughs> hasn't really been an issue yet but as long as i can keep track of who's playing then i, I can make sure we have enough places for people to play like words. <laughs> uh, nope you're so silly um I don't know where my base is it's over here somewhere let's see oh, zoom in zoom in zoom in okay I'm gonna go right past it ah there it is there's the not again again I think, you know, overall, we lost two elephants. We got a lot of stuff. And I got enough gold to build a um, a large shipyard so I can make a brig and really do some exploring and put cannons on it. And <laughs> find enough crew members to man them. But if we got cannons, then we can start blowing up ships of the dam and get more crew at higher levels. Because, you know, the ones you buy at Freeport are all level ones. At least they started that. The ones in the, in the ships of the dams are going to be higher level. I don't really know how much good that does. I mean, their health is higher. I guess they last longer. <laughs> I've always wondered if anybody knows if the if you boost the melee on your crew, does that boost the damage it does when they shoot the cannons? I don't think it does. But I've never really tested it out to see. Uh oh, stuck. Can't go that way. Back up some. It does not like you occupying the same place as another ship in PvE or solo. It just just makes it like a buffer around it, and then you get stuck in it. Which is what I had happen with me and Easy the other night because I kept backing into his boat, and I glitched through mine and fall through the bottom and get stuck, and that was not good. And I have to go over the, you can't see it in the fog. There's an island straight over there that I have not explored. I need to go over there and see if there's bears over there. Because this elephant thing, I mean, it's they they do a decent amount of damage, but they're so the knockback is so huge, it takes too long to kill the bad guys. The bears don't have such a big knockback, and they would be a lot better. All right, come on out. You're home again. We're gonna put you out to pasture. Beefcake. You did good. I don't know you get eat by a shark and drop some water. E10. E10 by a shark. Come on, you. Yeah, when they fixed the tame rails, it was like every other time you put anything in there, it would just keep popping out clones of it. 
over like every five or six hours it'll pop one out and then then there's just lots of extra animals laying around the beach for everybody i mean it's cool for like four or five of them but then at that point you're like i don't need any more rhinos uh we're gonna put battle on and all you on over here poor guy's just worn out look at how tired he is he's all purple okay you stay there oh nope 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 come back here come back come, come out, out over here over here right there right there stop stop there ah cows I did go over, somebody told me in the last stream that there was honey over on the other side of the island. And I went over there and on this island, I could not find it. I went all over the place and could not find honey over, over that way, all the way over on the other side of the harbor. And then I went, basically went all over the island again and could not find any honey. So evidently honey is not on this one. I like my economical use of space over here, you know, for my little garden. You know, just stack it all up and it all waters off of that one little circuit right there. Uh, do I have any fertilizer? Any fertilizer? It takes a while to build fertilizer up if you're just starting. It does take a while. So if you're getting getting going on the game and... Did I get a large? What is this? Small shipyard. Okay. So I should replace my shipyard with that, or else you know we're gonna we're gonna have to build another base at some point, somewhere else. This is a cool island to hang out on, but there's really nothing here. Um, I can get basic resources, but there's not a lot of extra stuff. I'm gonna have to go exploring. So hopefully y'all would like to go with me, and we'll do that as we get into the next chapters of this wonderful <laughs> adventure um but yeah so so this is what we got we got servers to go play on if you're interested in playing arc conan um atlas looks like v rising starting tomorrow so if you're interested in doing that go to the discord join up and go to the channels and check it out if you're not interested in playing those games you just want to hang out with some gamers or you know people that like to talk the the folks in the discord are great and there are people all over the world so there's usually somebody in there if you want to just you know hang out and chat with people and compare notes and talk about whatever you want to talk about um that's cool um what else is going on um i don't have a contest for may i'm going to work on what we can do for june i just got so much going on in may that i don't think i'm gonna have time to manage that but we will get these sir if i can get all these servers going then that will be that will be enough i hope for this month and we'll see what we do in june um yeah and i've got a couple more games i want to start getting into the rotation i've got uh some there's a zombie game i want to try out i got an invite from the dev to give it a shot so we'll do that and um and there's a couple other ones that look cool that some people brought up in discord the other day that that, that i'm i might Try to do some recorded videos. You know, I I like to play a game and, and learn how to play it, but I don't know. Y'all have to tell me. Is it uh um more fun to watch me figure a game out <laughs> than, than to have me go on a game and show you how to do stuff? Because I mean, I don't mind fumbling through games. <laughs> if it embarrasses me, it's okay, but. I don't want to bore y'all with me trying to figure out, you know, how to create, um, uh, how to build a house or how to build a box if I don't know how to do it. Um, so we can do that. Funny thing is Julie loves the AI stuff. He doesn't realize we are all AIs. <laughs> uh, pretty much. I feel like I'm an artificial intelligence most of the time, artificially intelligent if I'm intelligent at all. But yeah, I do want to go over that island. I may do that sometime this week before the next stream and see if there's bears over there. I don't know. Um, but we are going to have to get out of this grid, I think, is what we're going to have to do and explore past this little area if we're going to really see what this map is about. 
So that's something to look forward to because there's lots of places to go. But this is the closest Golden Age area or Power Stone Island. So I'm thinking we just kind of head straight up, go through D7 and E6 and get to F5 and see what's in those two and figure it out. That sounds like a plan. Uh, okay. So that's what we'll do. We'll, um, we'll, uh, we'll work on that. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for the night. I think it's, it's getting close to midnight and I need to, um, <laughs> work on some stuff, but thank you all for coming. I really do appreciate it. Uh, you know, all the things that y'all do out here, coming to the videos, watching them, the things that y'all do to support me in discord. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, and you know, we'll keep doing stuff like this. It's all about having fun playing games. And I really do appreciate everybody coming out and watching it. So y'all take care, <laughs> stay safe, be good. And until next time, this is Julie signing out.